toiling away in the kitchen for hours and hours is not our idea of a good date night. We like to enjoy sumptuous food while still enjoying the night with our partner. That's why we've prepared a list of the seven easy Saturday night dinner ideas. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number seven, New York Strip Fettuccine. First things first, put a pot of water with some salt and bring it to a boil. Then just take two thick pieces of New York Strip and cook them to your liking. Then in a separate pan, you put a little knob of butter and add some garlic. Fry it off and add the halved cherry tomatoes. You cook them until they become soft and then you add two cups of heavy cream. Once the sauce has been infused with the tomatoes, you will add the Parmesan and melt it. At this time, you should add the pasta inside the water and cook it. In the pan with the sauce, add the spinach and wilt it. Then take out the pasta, add it to the sauce and add the cut up New York strips. Mix it all together and take it off the heat. A perfect dinner that can be ready in about an hour. Number six, Ramsey's Arancini. Okay, this is pretty simple. And when it's prepared by Gordon Ramsay himself, you know the recipe is gonna be amazing. Plus, it uses leftover risotto. As for the recipe, you'll need to take some of the risotto, mushroom works best, and then form it into a patty in the palm of your hand. Add a small piece of mozzarella inside and form it into a ball. Roll the arancini in some flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs and fry them in a pan until they become golden brown. Number five, lasagna mashed potatoes. Now, this is one of the more complex recipes on this list, but you're definitely getting laid after this, so cook with caution. First of all, you will need to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but no, in reality, you'll need to prepare the meaty ragu sauce with tomatoes, onions, garlic, and minced meat. Then you prepare the mashed potatoes, but instead of adding butter and cream, you'll add three eggs and cream into the mix. This will make sure they don't fall apart when cooking. Now for the assembly, you will need to use a piping tip and make a rosette on the bottom of the baking dish. Then place a layer of cooked pasta sheet, some of the ragu sauce and some cheese. Add another layer of pasta, meat and cheese and cover the whole thing with the potato mash. Bake for 20 minutes on 355 degrees Fahrenheit and serve. Number four, peppery mackerel with potato salad. For this, you will need to crush some garlic and form a paste with paprika, sea salt, and some olive oil. Cover the fillets with the paste and cook them in the oven skin side up with some salt on top. For the salad, you will need to boil some baby potatoes and make a vinaigrette using Dijon mustard, saffron, vinegar, and olive oil. Spoon the vinaigrette over the potato salad and serve everything on a plate. Number three, chicken enchiladas. For this recipe, you just put some shredded chicken in a large bowl, followed by 1.5 cups of mixed cheese, crispy bacon, one cup of cream cheese, mix everything together and fill up the flour tortillas. Roll the tortillas up, put them in a baking tray and wash with some melted butter. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. In the meantime, prepare the sauce that's going to include some more cheese, mayo, ranch dressing, chopped jalapenos, garlic powder, and black pepper. Take the enchiladas out of the oven, spread the mix on top, and put it back in the oven until the cheese melts. This recipe can basically be done in 30 minutes. Number two, special farfalle. And this is a recipe that you can whip up in as little as 15 minutes. How? By putting some farfalle in boiling water, adding some peas, and leaving them to cook for about five to seven minutes. In the meantime, you chop up some lardons, add some garlic, and throw in the pasta with peas. To give it some creaminess, dollop creme fraiche and fresh ricotta. That's actually it. Number one, fajita stuffed chicken. For the finale, we have one of the most original recipes on this list. To make this, you'll need to fry up some red, green, and yellow pepper and some onions in a pan. Once translucent, put them in a bowl, add cream cheese, pepper jack, and cheddar. Mix it all together and set it aside. In the meantime, rub the chicken breasts with salt, chili powder, cumin, and garlic powder. Make a slit in the middle and fill it with the fajita mix. Fry them in a pan and serve them with some guacamole and creme fraiche. 
On a related note, do you like to have a juicy steak or a succulent piece of chicken for dinner? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.